Chairman, thank you very much. Uh, I want to make two points, and one is about our legislative agenda here in Congress, and the other is about the meaning of reciprocity. Um, I want to echo the sentiments of the gentleman from Florida, Mr. Deutsch. Um, I came here to Congress to work on gun safety. One of my proudest accomplishments was working on legislation which passed the Maryland General Assembly in 2013 in the wake of the catastrophe that took place in Newtown, Connecticut, where uh, a gunman came and assassinated 20 school children at point blank range with an assault weapon and six adults. And we said enough was enough. And we said, we're going to look for common sense, common ground, gun safety legislation that respects people's Second Amendment rights and advances the public safety however we can. The Supreme Court told us in the Heller decision in 2008 what the Second Amendment really means is you have a right to possess a handgun for purposes of self-defense and you have a right to a rifle for purposes of recreation and hunting. But, Justice Scalia told us, it doesn't mean you have a right to access a gun if you're mentally unstable or dangerous. You don't have a right to access a gun if you are a criminal convict, a felon, or a misdemeanant. Um, you don't have a right to an assault weapon. Um, you don't have a right to high capacity magazine. All of these things we put into our bill and it's been upheld against constitutional attack. As recently as yesterday, when the Supreme Court rejected an appeal from the Fourth Circuit about our statute which banned military-style assault weapons, which banned high-capacity magazines, which imposed fingerprint licensing, universal background check, which imposed frequent unannounced inspections by the Maryland State Police of gun dealers to make sure they weren't dealing into the underground. All of that was upheld as consistent with the Fourth Amendment, and people can still have guns for lawful purposes, and they can't be taken away. So we've got to stop spreading paranoia that there's some move to take everybody's guns away. That's not where we're at. Now, since I came to Congress in January, there have been 397 mass killings in the United States of America. 397 killings of at least four people. Two of them are among the worst massacres by gun in American history. The Las Vegas killing on October 1st, which left 58 people dead and more than 500 wounded. The Sutherland Springs massacre, on November 5th, 2017, just a few weeks ago, which left 25 of our fellow citizens dead and many more wounded. And guess what? The gunman in Texas, Devin Patrick Kelly, was court-martialed before for assaulting his wife and child for domestic violence. And all Mr. Nadler's amendment says is that you have, if you have convictions for violent misdemeanors, my state, Maryland, does not have to accept your convicted violent domestic abusers with a gun that you choose to let them have. If you want to do that in your state, do that in your state, but don't impose that on the people of Maryland when we've already rejected it for our own people. Now, I want to say something about reciprocity. Reciprocity means you respect my laws, I respect yours. This bill has nothing to do with reciprocity and the word should be purged from the bill. It lowers everybody's standards to the lowest state in the union. Whichever state, and there are several of them, has no laws at all with respect to concealed carry. All we need is one state, and several of them have done it, to say that anybody can have a concealed carry gun, then those people can go anywhere in the United States, overriding the laws of dozens of other states. What does that have to do with federalism? What does that have to do with states' rights? And what does it have to do with the Second Amendment? And what does it have to do with public safety? Nothing. Nothing. It is, as the gentleman just said, the agenda of the NRA, but it should not be the agenda of the U.S. Congress, and it is definitely not the agenda of the American people today. 397 mass killings since we entered Congress, and what have we done? Have we taken up a universal background check, which is supported by more than 90% of the American people? No. Have we taken up a ban on military-style assault weapons, the kind that were used to kill the children in Newtown, Connecticut, that were used to kill dozens of Americans in Las Vegas. No, we haven't had time for that. We have a moment of silence, which doesn't even last 60 seconds, and then we're off to rename a post office. We don't have time for that. But what do we put on the agenda? Let's expand 
national concealed carry. For the first time in American history, this country's been around for 241 years. We, nobody ever put in a bill like this to say that one state has to accept another state's law or no law at all governing concealed carry. The least we can do is pass Mr. Nadler's amendment. I yield back.